Hello, uh, in this video I would like to share with you a way how you can create a hybrid powertrains for automation cars that are exported to BeamNG. So first of course I'm going to export the car. I'm gonna open the mod folder, open the car files, go to vehicles hybrid and I'm gonna look for councilengine.jbeam. I'm gonna put this to side and I also have opened another text file which contains all the necessary uh, like code which we I will paste here and edit here. I will leave this of course in the description either just like this or I will leave a link to don't download the download the file. Anyway, so uh, first of all actually I'm going to I'm going to jump into BeamNG and show you how the car looks uh, right now before I change anything. So here in BeamNG I'm going to first load the car. And I will navigate to customize UI apps and I will add powertrain visualization. So now if I take a look at this, I can see that we have a main engine. That's the petrol engine from automation plugged into gearbox which is then plugged through drive shaft to a differential rear, rear differential which is driving rear wheels only okay now I'll go back to the files and do some changes so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this line right here and I'm gonna paste it just about here now this simply tells the BeamNG that there is something as a electric engine and that it should look for it in this code. Now I'm gonna add the code for the engine itself. I'm gonna go right to the bottom and I'm gonna take this whole section with both these bra brackets at the bottom, Control C, and I'm this the last bracket is the closing bracket of the entire thing which starts right here. So I will I need to place it before that. Right, just here. Okay, so that this is the electric engine and also the now oh, you can you can for example just look here and in the slots there's battery which means that uh, this, just as the line before, this tells the, the program to look for the battery. So we, we need to place this battery in as well, or it won't work. Okay, so after the brackets, but before the last one. Okay, so now we just added the engine. Uh, by the way, these, uh, the, the, this code is just ripped off uh, whatever electric or hybrid car is originally in BeamNG. I didn't made up this, of course. So now I'm gonna go back to BeamNG and look how what, what's changed. So let's save this. Okay, so now in BeamNG I'm gonna load the car once again. And you can see that there's some new thing, which is rear motor, which is the name of the electric motor. So yeah, it works so far. <laughs> now we just have to plug it in somehow. 
so back to the files so here we're gonna look for transmission and under transmission we are we will look for powertrain and this is now the powertrain setup and how this works kinda is that you have the input name right here and type right here and this basically says take main engine and connect it to DCT gearbox or maybe create DCT gearbox and and then take main engine and connect it to it now these names of course have to be have to be exactly according to how are they called in this in the rest of the code and these names are according to you can you can find it on the, on forums there is a list of uh, of uh, basically names which the BMG recognizes so for example differential mirrors means something it's a code name it's not just uh, because it's called differential so what we're gonna do so we, you can we can just go through it and see that it's actually exactly how it looks in BMG so we have main engine plug into gearbox then we have gearbox plugged into shaft and then this shaft is plugged into differential and the, the differential is plugged into one wheel and another wheel so this is exactly what we saw in the BMG so we're, what we're gonna add is we, we're gonna take the differential line I'm gonna actually make this larger take, let's take the differential line and paste another one now so now we are creating differential it's gonna be called rear diff which we don't want to we want gonna create another one and call it for example EV diff and we're, we're plugging in that rear drive shaft which also we do not want we want to plug into it rear motor now rear motor because that's the name of the electric motor if I scroll down I will find somewhere that its name is a rear motor so that's uh, where is it that's what we are plugging it so we're plugging rear motor into a new differential which is going to be called ev diff and also we're gonna i'm gonna take these two wheels line wheel lines copy them and i'm gonna connect not rear differential but the ev differential and i'm gonna not gonna connect it to rear left and rear right i'm gonna connect it to front left and front right and i'm also have to change it here okay so with some luck this actually should work so i'm gonna save it and uh, jump into bmng so back in bmng i'm gonna load the car when you look at the powertrain you can see that uh, it works uh, there is the electric motor connected to the EV differential which is then connected to wheel axles front wheel axles and when I turn off the engine and just press acceleration you can see that I'm accelerating using just the electric motor okay so the last thing I'm gonna go through is uh, just uh, how to set up the electric motor if you don't know and also how to synchronize the speed so it uh, makes sense. So I'm gonna find the ele ele engine electric and this is basically the torque curve. Uh, 
it basically it simply says at zero rpm you have 400 this is newton meters i believe 400 newton meters at five five this is rpm and this is newton meters now it doesn't matter how many you have how, like how fine find the resolution of the this curve is for example the exported engine has many more but it doesn't matter so I'm gonna do a 500 steps for example and also what I did is I just googled this uh, electric motor uh, torque curves and other characteristics and I'm just gonna copy them to here so that I can be sure that this this the torque curve actually makes sense and reflects how a real electric motor might work so I have copied the torque curve and I, I now I want to set the gear ratio in the differential in such a way in the EV differential in such a way that the maximum that the car reaches the maximum desired speed at the maximum speed of the motor so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna find the differential, which is this line, and I'm gonna change the gear ratio to something high, like 10. So now, uh, when the electric motor reaches uh, maximum revs, the car is still gonna be going quite slow because of such a high gear ratio and I'm just doing this so to make sure that the car actually will go that fast because if, if I leave it at 3.3 that may be for example like 320 kilometers or maybe 400 kilometers which the car won't be able to reach but this is gonna be not even 200 so I'm gonna be able to test it so now let's go to BMG okay so I'm gonna turn off the combustion engine and let's see at what speed the electric motor reaches maximum RPM okay so it looks like at 8000 we are doing 103 kilometers per hour So let's just quickly change the gear ratio so that the maximum speed for the electric motor will be something that makes sense for such a car. Now th this car will be will have peak horsepower at around 400, and but not much uh, downforce. So I think uh, something like 280 kilometers per hour might make sense for top speed. So I'm gonna take the 103 kilometers that we reached at 8,000 divided by 280. And multiply it by the current gear ratio and our new gear ratio should be three point let's say six seven eight so let's see if it all works as intended now I'm not sure if the electric motor will be enough to reach 280 kilometers per hour so I will keep the main engine, main combustion engine also on
this is it. This is the simplest, probably the simplest uh, hybrid setup. I mean, there are some some a little, you know, problems with it. For example, that the car or the electric motor cannot really go into reverse. However, it <laughs> however the car should be able to reverse because because uh, basically the electric motor starts with uh, pretty much zero power, but the uh, combustion engine, of course, because of the gearbox. Uh, has some more torque and more power, so it will over overpower the electric motor. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I hope you learned something and uh, ask if you if you have some questions. But I don't really haven't figured much m much more yet about the how to set up the powertrain. So, but hopefully, I will be able to help you. So, see you later.